welcome to uh, Open Marriage Chronicles. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button. True to everything he said, but it really seemed like you only want to jump in when I start saying something. Yeah. Today is a continuation of what we did last Monday. Scenarios. Monday, all about scenarios. We got the some what good ifs. Ones. The what, what would you what do? Would you do? <laughs> what would you do? What the, the hell, hell is going, going on? Between the sheets and my home. Baby, wait, let me explain. Before, Before you start, start to point your cane. Girl, I'm about, about to have a thing. You sound bad. Your lips ashy, your hands ashy. <laughs> your, your hair is uneven. <laughs> you look dusty. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good girl and I know what you said. Oh, uh, so be a good girl. Anyway, all right, let's get down to the nitty gritty with our first scenario. Today, we're coming at you with four. All right, here we go. First scenario we're gonna talk about is this one. This one. You and your partner have been together for a couple years when couple. they forget your birthday. You oh, that'll never happen to you, so you ain't gotta worry about it. You wait all day for them to acknowledge it, but by the next morning, they still haven't said a word. What would you do? Do is that grounds to break up your relationship because they don't remember your birthday? Okay, that's on you. Well, of course. You will break up? No. Oh, I'm I meant to say I got my stitch off. Oh, we go. Or. People lie, numbers. Come on with your little stupid stat. All right, one in three people have made the cardinal sin of forgetting their partner's birthday. And men are twice as likely to forget. It's a man bash in sight. When's our anniversary? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> February 7th. He knows. <laughs> it's easy only to remember because it's a week before. Ah, uh, here we go. That's the only reason you know, huh? I don't get credit for nothing what around this month. What year did we get married? Uh, 47. <laughs> <laughs> 13. 13, You just baby. had to do the subtraction. You did. Uh, but I got it. Like, it don't matter if I had to look at my tattoo to figure out the year. You I got it correct. You don't have a tattoo. It's a mental <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> yeah. What When's my do? birthday? 7 11. What year? Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, old man. You is an old man. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, what would you do if I literally forgot your birthday? You wouldn't care though, for real? It wouldn't bother you? It's on you. I'm not answering your question. Of course, I would be upset. Why? Because like- It's just we, a date. Yeah, but it's a day that's special to me. I How wouldn't break up feel? with you or anything like that, but I'd totally be upset. I'd be angry a little bit like, Dang, you couldn't even remember my birthday. I couldn't get a card. Now, the gift situation is different. It wouldn't matter about that, but the simple acknowledgement that it's my day. That's not true either. If we didn't if we didn't have anything planned and I just woke up and said, happy birthday, babe, and we carried on like it was a regular day, you would be pissed. Depending on what stage we were in, we didn't always have goo up. <laughs> we still don't have goo up. Point exactly. So if it was just a point in time where we were like, we really didn't have it, and it was like, sweet gestures that you just did like say you made me breakfast and it was just like happy birthday babe i do that every day now message so what would you do we already know i'd be upset i'd probably mm. be in my feelings i don't think i would be upset oh i think a dude would be a diva to say oh my wife didn't even acknowledge me for my birthday I, it is what it is see i beg to differ like i can understand holidays you don't acknowledge valentine's day i don't no i'm saying if Oh. And you don't always know because our anniversary is a week before Valentine's Day. Yeah, you set me up. The fact that you acknowledge it, and it could be a sweet gesture. I bought you some roses, a card. So that'll be enough for you? That'll be enough. Oh, that's that's good to know. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> be with your partner for a little while. When little you while. find out they cheated in their last relationship. It wasn't that they weren't happy or that they had problems in their relationship. They just kind of slipped up. Yeah. What would you do? Would you leave that person? How did you find that they, they had cheated? You were snooping? It came up in casual conversation. Like, so they were dumb enough to say, yeah, I cheated last relationship. Yeah, like that's what led to their breakup or whatever. Um, I don't know. See, I'm a firm believer that once a cheater kind of- And that's not true. You cheater, said God can't deliver somebody. That's not what I'm saying. That's exactly what you're saying. That's not what if that what man started fasting, started going to church more, get his life together, and find a wholesome woman? Oh, he's still a cheater, girl. You part of the conspiracy. Redfish, bluefish, knick-knack, patty whack, get a dog a bone, 2000, zero, zero, party. Oops, out of time. My bacon smelling fine. No. You part of the problem. No. I feel like, 
Well, first off, a dude can't have that much attachment to God to be cheating. Depending on a person's lifestyle or mm -hmm. how they conduct themselves, I believe once a cheater always is always a cheater. A cheater. So I feel <laughs> yeah, so so the reason why you were like, you saying God can't work, I'm not saying that, because it's some people that go to church. Who's stung? Did I say that? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm saying like even it's some people that go to church that still cheat on their spouses that still in cheat church. on their in church. Yeah, it's some pastors that still be cheating on their wives or whatever. So I'm not saying that God can't change people, but I'm saying depending on who they are, how they live, what they, they do, themselves. how they conduct themselves, all and the that, stuff that they watch on internet that has oh, a lot to do with it. I don't. I don't. I, okay. Okay. If I found out that you cheated on me, well, no, that you cheated in a past relationship, I would say I would be really leery of how you carry yourself in our relationship. I feel like you would have to go a little above and beyond to really convince me that you're not a cheater. No that more. you're not a cheater anymore. But you'll stick with him. I love if you're already in a relationship. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think just because you cheated in the past has grounds for breaking up your relationship. Yeah. I probably leave the table at that moment. So you would leave her? Yeah, man. You would leave me if you found out I had cheated in a past relationship. You'd leave me when we're dating. If we was just boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah, yeah, probably so. That had nothing to do with you. I'm next. I'm on deck. Let's be real. We next. We on deck. That you like baseball? We on deck. What? <laughs> then if that's the case, you mad at me for saying once a cheater, always a cheater, but you saying I can't change. You would just literally sat here and chastise People me. People can change. However, I'm not finna let you. No, 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 no. You no. just sat here and chastise me literally because I said once a cheater is always a cheater. Like, you can't say that. People can change. People change, exactly, but I'm not finna give you that time. Wow. So then why wouldn't you give me another chance? Stop thinking it's all about you. Okay, it's why would you give you. her another chance? Who's her? I give said me a name. Me, you wouldn't let give me a name. Kiera. Kiera. Man, you too oh, wait, 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 wait. Like I said, men are very prideful. You're not finna embarrass me either. And then when you, you slip up and hypocrite tell me. You're and you're judgmental. Those who cheated in their relationship, in their past relationships, are three times more likely to cheat in a current relationship. Why when I say once a cheater, always a cheater, you just like, no. No, I'm just saying, people can't change. You would I'm not saying they can't. You done yelling? All I'm saying is that you're a hypocrite. Somebody hasn't even shown you their faults or shown you if they're bad or whatever, and you like, nah, I'm not even finna give you the leeway or the opportunity to show me anything. That's what. You're right. Yeah, that's true. I, I stick around until they cheated on me. You're lying. You're just saying that because you think that's what I want you to hear. But I'm telling you, I don't care what way. you believe. You find out your partner has been messaging someone else. The messages are flirty. Is he still cheating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start over. Right, All right. You find out your partner has been messaging someone else. Uh, the messages are flirty, and you're not happy with them at all. But really, as far as you know, or that you're aware, your partner hasn't met up with that person. How do you know chasing. that? You don't know that. Dog, it's a scenario. Oh, okay. My bad. Golly. So as far as you know, your partner ain't crossed that line yet. Yet. <laughs> what would you do? But you on date. Yeah, you on date. date. <laughs> what would you do? Now, I feel is like- Is this one on me or you? This is on you. Okay, what would I do? Correct. If I saw my partner sending news. Your boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> You answer that, cause I don't know. I think that's grounds to, it's a Cut wrap. It short. Yeah, cause. It, but they haven't cheated. But you would stick with the person that cheated in the past. Yeah, if they haven't shown me that they're gonna cheat on me, that's different. He hasn't showed you that he was gonna cheat. He was just flirting. You showing me that now you have the capabilities to do it. So I would honestly take the flirty messages and stuff really more serious than. Uh, not so more serious. I would already take it as grounds of like, okay, you really cheating already. Yeah, just yeah, I was because, just boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, just because you haven't necessarily gone out there and met up with them and made it a thing, or made it something, rather, that's still you you testing them water. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm just glad I'm not in that situation. Anymore. I probably... <laughs> Slap me around and call me Susan. Ah! I warned you, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I probably... I guess my solution to everything is break up with them. You expect that from dudes, but for you to see your girl being the flirty one and sending out messages like that. That is such BS. For real, there should be no. You sound dumb. 
What's so dumb about my stuff? <laughs> like I don't, I don't understand that. A woman is considered a hoe if she has too many sexual partners. Whoa, it's a hoe or a whore? Or a whore. A whore. Say, whoever. Or whatever, if she has too many sexual partners, but a guy he getting dabbed up to my heat of man. It's the expectation of a dude to be out there texting other women while he has a girl, but if a but girl But that's doing, so nuts that you call you say that's BS, but when we broke up you was like, Yeah, I expected you to sleep around with people. That I mean it's a given. You you feed right into that too. I expected it because you was a hoe. I said, whoever threw that paper, your mom's a hoe. But threw that. <laughs> your mom, <laughs> you heard hoe. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like, I knew what you were when I was with you. So when we broke well, up. That says a lot about you. <laughs> and now we're married. <laughs> the whole couple. I hate that. I hate those stipulations that it's, it's, it's so much It's a stigma. Stuff. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that so much stuff Why, is cool though? for a dude before a woman. It's not cool. I didn't say, I didn't say none of that was cool. But it's expected. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying it's okay. Stop right here. I know you're probably more than halfway through the video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to follow us on our other social media outlets. Facebook.com slash KevinKier.KQ. And then, of course, IG is Kier.KeyDecor. And... Well, but it's just underscore that underscore film works. That long name. Thank y'all for tuning in. And back. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh. All right. So... My scenario is you're married, you're at your in-laws, and you get into it with your wife's dad, your father-in-law. You tell your wife to get up, go get in the car, and your father-in-law tells your wife to sit down. What do you do? I got to go. You got to go. Got to go. Why is that? Leave and cleave, baby. Leave and cleave. A lot of women said, I'm listening to my daddy. Nah, my nah, daddy nah, told nah, me nah, to nah, sit nah, down, nah. so... I'm gonna sit down. Why is that? So many women already have the wrong mentality when it comes to their marriage anyway. What kind of mentality do they have? That they're still supposed to uphold their parents higher than what they're holding their spouse. Mm -hmm. Especially, I feel like if there are kids in a relationship that are not for the husband. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the conversation we had yesterday. Yeah, I, I feel so like- So let's talk about that one. Let's finish this first. Yeah, I was, I was getting to that. So many women just have that that disassociation of not seeing their husband really as being number one. A lot of women, I feel like, talk to talk, but if it came down to it, they gonna choose their daddy first. Yeah, it's like got I gotta, issues. you know, I gotta ride with the original home team. Another reason why I I could see the flip side of the scenario, cause him and his mom are really close. So mm. if I got into it with his mom and I'm like, we need to go, and his mom like, my yeah. son ain't going nowhere, and then he sat down. First of all, I'd be a diva. But no. <laughs> My mama's <laughs> My mama said. <laughs> but I think the man has to check that though. Your wife shouldn't be telling you, we got to go, and you get up and grab your kids and be like, we out. I feel like that's a lot of sass. That husband has to get that, that whole situation in order. Dog, this is that two separate scenario. So the husband could tell the wife, get up, let's go, and she's supposed to get up and go, and I'm like, I'm ready to roll. I'm finna get in the whip, we no, gotta go that's, home. No, that's not what but I'm hold saying. hold on. If I was to tell you, we need to get up and go, because I just got into it with your mom, you need to check that? No, you need to check your mom. That's what I'm saying. So you jumped off at the mouth. What I'm saying, as a husband, you're supposed to protect your wife. So you get that situation in order. Don't just say, you know, they get in an argument and your wife say, let's go. And you just leave it at that and you get up and burn. No, check that. Make sure that situation is good. And you tell your mom, like, you wrong if she's wrong. Or tell your wife, like, look, you were wrong for saying this or whatever. Hell no. Nah. Don't tell me I'm wrong in front of the person that I just got into an argument with. You wait till we get in the car. You wait till we get to home. Tell you wrong. And to rectify okay. that situation. Cool. Well, that, but... That, that situation needs to be addressed right then and there, though. But if the, if the two sides, two opposing sides are so hot, they've already had so much confrontation, right then and there may not be that good moment. It may be best okay, to I walk away. That. If I say it to him, it's like, no, nah, I got to check that. I got to figure you're not going to blah, blah, blah. But I had your side. I'm checking the situation, but I got your back. And I But you're not going to tell me, See? get up and let's See? go. See? But when we got Come in the car, down, okay, if, if, me, okay man, you tell me. See? How does that make you feel if your wife tell you, get up, we finna go. First and you all, grab the keys and you get up and go? Ooh. If you already Ooh. know it's a confrontation and an argument going on, it's not like she mad at you. It's like, let's get up, like, let's go. Key, key, let's just go, let's go. Key, key. You can't hit me at this emblem. That grotto shot me. You get it, then girl, kill me no more, doll. <laughs>
let's just go. You did. Take me out this casket, put me on top of that girl. <laughs> she don't kill me. That's your problem. I, no, that's your problem. You're talking number. to me like you gangster. Bottom line, if I told you to get up and go, because I just got into it with your mama, what you going to do? I guess what you no, want to no, 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 what no. You hear. What you do. Okay, guys, I want to know what y'all would do if your wife got into it with your mother and she said, get up, we out of here. If somebody's trying to remove themselves out of confrontation and they're getting that. That is so crazy. You can remove yourself from that confrontation, but when we have a confrontation in the house and I try to remove myself, I'm wrong. Yeah, there you go. Run to your little room. That's what you do we best. We need to talk about See, it. See, that's whack. You you the hypocrite now. That's different. That's How's it? Because that's oh, your parent. Every single time is, oh, that's different. That's your that's parent. Different. That's your parent. That's, I don't care who it is. It could be Obama. We gonna address it. No, but when no, I want to no. remove myself from confrontation here. Wait, hold on, hold no. on. But you the same way. When we in our house and we arguing, you don't want to address it. Because the reason I'm addressing it now because you were getting cursed out. But you were being disrespected. What? That blatant disrespect, something that's not going to change. That's what you let ride, fool. First of all, a fool says there is no God. <laughs> no. A fool says in his heart, there is no God. Man, I'm not feeling play with you. You make it seem like I just targeted me. Yeah, I remember stepping on you. <laughs> Darkness says, definitely we want to hear from y'all. So we really have four scenarios, and I'm going to remind you by putting it in the comment section All below. four of them, yeah. So not, I'm not going to put all the scenarios, but basically the main conversation. Partner, forget your birthday. What do you do? Men don't care. Okay. Women do. Next. Okay, you send them flirty text messages where your partner Leave them. <laughs> <laughs> your partner get into an argument with uh, your parent. I guess just get up and do what she say, right? I'm just saying, man. You yeah. always want to run the house. That, that's your first step, right there. You gonna be on the phone. Oh, anyway, I want to talk about the listener. Partner, no. and then, should we not talk then, about that? And then your partner cheated. No, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then your partner cheated on the person that they were with before you. What do you do? You're next. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. We need your support. We need that community. community. I knew it. And uh, definitely, definitely. I knew it. I told you that's your word. Make <laughs> sure that you tune in every single, single Monday. Monday. At what time? It changes. It ain't no specific. It'll be there. Yeah. It'll be there Monday, but it might not be a specific time. Nah, this is YouTube. It's always there at 9 a.m. YouTube, we just, it's always 9 a.m. That's what's up. Yeah. So make sure you tune in Monday. We'll be coming at y'all next week with something new. Bye. Bye.